All right, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy PXG Cash Hour coming at you with another battle replay. Uh, this is week six for us here in the uh, no week seven for us here in the Worldwide Champions League. I know I haven't been uploading these matches as fast as usual, but things have been going on. Um, this battle is between myself, as you guys know, the coach of the New York Needle Kings, battling Matt, the coach of the Miami Manaphys, the Professor, as we call him. Um, so Matt is probably one of the few people in the league who did draft weather, but his team essentially is built around it 100%. And he has a rain team with his rain setter, as you guys can see, being the Pelipper, someone who recently got uh, Drizzle as an ability, which makes it call down rain. Um, building for this is kind of uh, uh, interesting because I kind of know kind of what to expect. Um... My strategy was kind of like, okay, I have, all right, this is my first strategy. My first strategy originally was, I can turn the weather against him. But the issue I came with that is, is that um, the Pokemon that I needed to run that, that move with can't have the ability I wanted to, which is the Raikou you see there. So I'm like, okay, so that goes out the, out the window. Uh, my next strategy was kind of like, okay, can I take advantage of his own weather to... To do things not so much <laughs> so finally i'm like okay maybe i could just beat out the weather you know if i can knock out the weather setter early on and that kind of eliminates some of its assistance i was expecting his mammoth swine which he did not bring which is kind of weird considering i do have raiko um but some of these other pokes i did expect i i can probably say i didn't expect the toxic croak and the um uh, the Crosma really a hundred percent. I know um, the Crosma is something new that he re recently had, but I, if he would have brought something, I would have expected more the um, Cresselia. But both of them are just kind of uh, lacking in some of their moves choices. But regardless of the fact, I decided to go with Raiko, Blissey, Zygarde, Volcanion, Tenacruel, and Cabalion. And as you can see, he decided to go along with Pelipper, uh, Ludicolo. Manaphy, Mimikyu, Toxicroak, and um, Necrozma. Now, interesting thing about this match is that this match also took three attempts before we finally got to it. Uh, the first time um, he realized his pokes weren't um, built correctly. The second time the match got disconnected like in the middle of it, but it wasn't due to either of the both of us. We were both still online. So, third time's a charm. It does kind of suck because I kind of like the way the second match was kind of going. But it is what it is. So, let's see what happens. Week 7 of the Worldwide Champions League, the New York Nido Kings versus the Miami Manaphys. Alright. There's Matt issuing the challenge. So, we leave off with Raijin, the Raiko. Should be easy peasy with him as this is, you know, rain team. He is electric. He leaves off with 747, the Pelipper, which, as I said, is going to bring out the rain. It's always scarfed because I guess he likes doing that. So um, here we go, applying our pressure. I know he's going to U-turn out. Because he doesn't really want to fight this thing at all. So, goes into Cerveza, please, the Ludicolo. I go for the Calm Mind because I did predict um, the um, that Pelipper wouldn't want to stay in versus the uh, Raiko. As I said, I kind of had an original idea to go with this, but it didn't work out. So, he goes for the Fake Out, which is fine for us. It does get the flinch. We will recover more of our HP with um, with leftovers. So we go for the signal beam, which is probably the one thing I do have that I can hit it super effectively. So he goes for the power up punch. So this is a physical Ludicolo. So he does increase his attack by one. Now this is Rain Dish. He did tell me he actually wanted this to be Swift Swim, which is whatever at this point <laughs> for uh when he was just telling me like at this point like whatever i'll just deal with it 
I go for the signal beam again. Once again, he goes for the power up punch. And now I have plus two physical attack. And then because of Rain Dish, he does recover his HP, essentially giving him a a fake version of uh, leftovers. But here we go using our own version of our leftovers. And he does switch out. Goes into the end cat the um toxic croak. I go for the signal beam again. At this point, I'm kind of just replaying that second match that I told you guys we had. But since we essentially said it doesn't matter at this point, um, if we did redo the, the match how it was or not, I just started deviating from it. So I go for the Magna Rise. Go for the Earthquake. The avoid. We get the Avoid because we're obviously levitating right now. We go straight for the Thunderbolt. Now he goes to the Poison Jab. And he does get the Poison. I guess that's kind of like what I get for deviating from originally because originally that did not happen. But we do get Poison. We take damage from the Poison. That does bring us down to lower, I think at this point, at killing range from anything he has. So there's the Sucker Punch. And yep, just like that, um, Raijin the Raiko goes down. 5-6 already. So I go for the Coach R-Type. Our break, we as we have always established, is useless for us. He does withdraw, um, Toxic Croak goes into Pika P to mimic you. So I go for the Dragon Dance. Does give us a plus one attack and speed. I go for the thousand arrows just to break his um disguise. They go straight for the play rough. We're able to actually live. Does lower our attacks, so we're back at neutral attack. So we switch out. Goes in, go into Tentacruel. He goes for the play rough again. Tentacruel will be able to resist it because of his uh, poison typing. And we do recover with our Black Sludge. So he withdraws uh, Mimikyu. Goes into Black Toy Hama, the, uh, the Krozma. So I go for the Hex. But I kind of did see that uh, that switch coming. I know it won't do as much damage because um, it's not status. So we do re recall because it is psychic type. We don't want to really deal with that. Go into Gabe the Volcanion. It goes for the psychic. Does a lot more damage than I actually had anticipated him to do. But Necrozma does have 127 base special attack to my uh, 90 <laughs> special defense. He goes for the Thunder Wave, does miss. Thunder Wave is no longer 100% accurate, as you guys remember. We go for the Flamethrower. And we get the Burn. I guess we traded right there status the Poison from earlier, and now you get the uh, the Burn from now. So we both get the recovery from um, the leftovers. Does take damage from the burn. We also turn away again and does get the miss. So easy for us. We go for the flamethrower again. He would have been enraged to die had he not had leftovers, but we do recover our HP with the leftovers regardless. And there's the burn. That she will be able to live. So he goes for the psychic again. And then we go for the flamethrower one more time. Which will be enough. And Black Toy Hammer, the uh, Necrozma, will go down. So we're tied off 5 5. Do recover with the leftovers. 
So back comes out Pelipper. And obviously with it the uh, the rain. I kind of know full well he's may probably go for the hurricane. I went to Tentacruel just in case, and there it is. The Tentacruel has a little bit better uh, special defense than uh, Volcanion. Goes for the hurricane again. We go for the toxic spikes. We do recover with the uh, the black sludge. So we swap out Tetacrum, go into Fat Princess the Blissey. There's the Hurricane again. At this point, I'm kind of like just trying to stall out the uh, the rain to go away. So he swaps out um, Pelipper, does it to Nian Cat the Toxic Croak again. Unfortunately, Froze is able to absorb the uh, Toxic Spikes. We go for the charge beam. Does raise our special attack. His dry skin does activate so he does recover his HP due to the rain. We do recover with our uh, leftovers. But obviously we cannot stay in. So we swap out. Go into the boy Kobe. The Cabalion. He goes for the fake out. Doesn't do much to us, it is also resistant because of the steel typing. It withdraws Toxic Croak, goes into uh, the 747 developer. With it again, here comes the rain. I go for the Stealth Rocks, he doesn't have a way to remove them, so they'll be permanent. So he goes for the Hurricane. It is a neutral hit for us. He does get the confusion on us. But luckily we're able to get the Volt Switch. It was a crit. The crit might have mattered. But Pelipper goes down. So right now we're 5 and 4. The rain after it's gone will be done with. So we go into Coach R-Type. Goes back into uh, Pika Pita Mimikyu. Does take damage from the rocks. It goes to the play rough. Which will be enough, and it does kill our um, Coach R type to Zygarde. We're tied up 4 and 4. So I go into Volcanion. He goes to the Leech Life. It's a resistant hit because of Volcanium's uh, fire typing. It is a crit. So we go for the flamethrower. As you guys know, um, because of the rain, it does weaken fire type moves. But we can also go into steam eruption at the. It could he could potentially bring out. Um, Toxic Coconut will actually heal him up. So I go for the Sunny Day, just to outright remove the the sun, the sun, the rain at this point. So now we have the sun out. It will actually boost our fire type moves at the cost of obviously our water type moves. I do recall Volcanion. I go back into Tentacruel. He goes for the Shadow Sneak. I think I was expecting him to go for the Leech Life again. We do recover with the Black Sludge. Go for the Shadow Sneak again, as it is priority. Which will be enough, and Tentacruel goes down. 3-4 at the moment, in favor of him. So we go back into a... Uh, Cabalion. Go straight for the Iron Head. So Pika Pete the Mimikyu goes down. Now comes out Tuna Sub D Manaphy. So we go for the Volt Switch. 
do some damage while we're switching out. Now going to Fat Princess the uh say Manaphy, the Blissey. <laughs> so he goes to the Whirlpool. I feel Lindo has started a trend with this whole blocking uh from switching move thing. We recover HP with the left door, we take damage because of the whirlpool. He goes for the mud slap. Won't do much for us attack wise, but does lower our accuracy down. And there's the miss already. We recover our HP with the leftovers. There's the um, the whirlpool taking effect. He goes for the mud slap again. Now at minus two uh, accuracy. Go for the charge beat him again. We get the miss again. This is not looking good for us. We continue to take damage from the whirlpool. He goes for the ice beam. We go for the charge beam again. We do get the miss again. So he's ready to reveal Whirlpool, um, Mud Slap, now Ice Beam. He goes for the Ice Beam again. I go for the Wish. We do recover our HP back with the leftovers. We're actually free from the Whirlpool now. So I decided to switch out and go into uh, Gabe in the event that he does decide to go for the uh, Whirlpool again. Which he does. We get the Water Absorb so we do recover our HP back. We also get the Wish from Blissey. It goes to the Mud Slap again. So does lower accuracy down by one. We go for the Hidden Power, we actually land it. Not doing enough damage. Recover HP with our leftovers. Go for the must slap again. We have minus two. We get the HP again. HP electric for those who haven't figured it out yet. It goes for the energy ball, so that's his fourth move. So we're actually breaking through the um, the minus two accuracy. He's still alive though. It goes for the mud slap again. We're at minus three accuracy. Go for the hidden power. We do miss this time. Recover HP with the leftovers. The game is not looking too hot. So we managed to actually get the HP again. And are able to actually get rid of this annoying thing. So Manaphy is gone. Right now we're 3 and 2. Goes into Nyan Cat, the um, Toxicroak. Let's take damage from the rocks. We will draw Volcanion because Volcanion at this point is not uh, healthy at all. Go into Kobe, the Volcan uh, the Cobalion. You're getting these folks confused. We eat our berry. We're hoping with his defense he'll be able to live it. He does. The Shuka Berry. He goes to the Sucker Punch. And this could have been our moment right there. I was not expecting uh, a Balian to live at all. We go for the Volt Switch. Even though we got the plus one to our attack, we should have just probably went for a physical attacking move. We go back into Gabe. Recover HP with the leftovers. 
If it goes to the earthquake, and it is enough that actually, um, it does go down. At this point, this match essentially is going to be done. This he is not able to take any kind of physical hits, and you guys already know Kabalion is at 1 HP. Yep. This he goes down. I probably should have clicked the physical hitting move when I had the chance. I don't know why I didn't. But what can you do? The Gabalion goes down. It is a 2-0 loss for us versus the uh, Miami Manaphys. Um, GG's to Matt. That actually puts us now at 2 and 5, which is not good at all. Probably the worst I think we've done in a league so far. I'm not counting the first season, of course, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it here at the. Um, uh, yeah, the New York Needle Kings, you know. We do appreciate you guys uh, watching the match. As always, like and subscribe if you watch more of these uh, replays. Do go live. Hopefully we'll start getting some more wins soon. As always, this is your boy PXG Cash Howard, and we'll be seeing ya.